Hello guys, it's Martin K here, and in this video, I'm gonna build a giant Pokeball made out of Lego bricks. Stick around until the end of this video to witness a surprise that you will certainly not want to miss. And without further ado, let's begin building. For this build, I will construct a foundation on which I will be able to attach on all sides of our base, side paneling that have some sort of curve, to give that spherical shaping for our Pokeball. So I will begin building the bottom half of this Pokeball by using some 2x12 plates and some 2x8 plates in white. So now we got ourselves a uh, square. I will set this aside and I will bring in a new set of pieces. With these pieces, I'll be able to build corners for our base. So that I'll be able to attach panels on the side of our base. I will need to use Technic pieces. So here is a 1x2 Technic brick with two holes inside of it and blue Technic pins that will be inserted inside these holes just like that and then we're gonna slide this into the gap and we'll do the same thing and there we go. I built three more of these right over here. Now they're all ready to be attached on the bottom side of our square. After that, I will add on some pieces to strengthen our build. So as you guys might have noticed, I added some more of those 1x2 Technic uh, bricks with some holes inside of them just to solidify the panels that are going to be attached onto the side. And now I need to build a top dome for the base. Okay, so here is the dome piece that I just built and now I'm going to attach this right on top of the base. So now I got the bottom half of the Pokeball sort of complete and I even went along and I built a second one of these, but in red with the same dimensions, just because, well, it's a ball and therefore both the top and the bottom are symmetric and basically the same. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So now I got these two parts done. Now all that's left is to build the sides of the Pokeball. So, 
I didn't just build one of these side panels, not just two, but I built three. Now there's a few little touches I'm going to need to do onto each of them, since they're going to be on different sides of the Pokeball. So let's continue. All right, so here are all of the panels that I built so far. And I'm gonna attach them to the base here. Let's do it. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Martin K, why didn't you fill the back? And there's a quick little simple reason why, and it's because the back side needs to have clips. It needs clips because I would want to make the Pokeball be able to open, and therefore it would need a hinge of some sort to angle up and down the top part from the bottom part. And so this is what I built so far. And so you can see that there's a few holes there, which we're gonna fill up with these pieces here. So one by two, uh, plates with a clip on one side and a stud on the other side and then I tried to find a white one of these but I didn't have one so it's gonna be black and it's a 1x4 with some sort of clips clip attachments yeah and now I just need to plate it off and there you go this I left it open so that it will be able to let the top part tilt. So now let's attach the back part to the back side of our Pokeball. Right over here. Okay, great. So now the bottom half of our Pokeball is almost done. We're missing four more pieces to complete it. And they're gonna be one by one bricks with a little like stud in front, which I'm going to attach onto the sides of the base, just like that. And we're gonna do this three more times. And I did that to reinforce the connection between the side panelings and the base. Now it's time to build the side panelings for the top part of the Pokeball. I just finished building one of the side panels for the top part of the Pokeball. And as you can see, I made it so that uh, the black outline, basically that separates the red part from the white part, I made it one stud shorter than the red or the white parts so that it has some kind of depth given to it. And otherwise that's that. And here's another panel that I just built. So now we're gonna attach these onto the side of our little base here for the top part of the Pokeball. All that's left for me to build are the front and the back parts of this top assembly. So 
So here are the two last panels that I need to build. And as you can see, I'm missing a portion of the black outline that surrounds the middle of the Pokeball. And that's because they're going to have different pieces that are going to be incorporated into the black outline to get either the general shaping or being able to do that opening function. So let's begin with the front piece. All I'm going to do here is just add a few black plates. And instead of using a regular 2x2 plate in the middle here, I'm going to put this kind of like 2x2 two two with a Technic pin sticking out, which is going to let me stick this radar black dish right here, and then put a 4x4 four four, uh, white circular plate in the middle and then I'm gonna tile it off with a 2x2 two two tile. There we go. Easy as that. Now all I need to do is plate off around the side to give it more of a round shape. And there we have it. That's the front side of the top part of the Pokeball. Now let's fix the back side. So here we're going to do the same thing, we're going to add a bunch of black plates. Okay, so now I need to add the pieces that will correspond to the other hinges and clips that I've added onto the bottom part of my Pokeball. So these are the pieces that I added on, and then I'm going to just put an entire plate nice. on top of these pieces. And all that's left is to plate off a bit more. And there we go, I got the front and the back of my Pokeball, or the top of my Pokeball, done. And again, we're going to attach the parts that we just built to the main assembly of the Pokeball. So here's the front side. And the back side. All right. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect each of the side panels of the top part of the Pokeball, just like I did with the bottom half of the Pokeball, with these bricks, with a stud on the side, but as well with a few more uh, parts, so a 1x2 with uh, two studs on the side, and a 1x2 plate that will be attached to both of these bricks. And there you go. And I built this assembly four times. And now I'll attach them here. Now that that's done, it's time to attach both halves of the Pokeball. So now I'll take the bottom part of the Pokeball and I'll take the top half and I'll attach it to these clips right over here. There we go. And I'll close it. And there you have it. That is my version of the Lego Pokeball. As you can see here, I can open the ball, of course. I can close it. And that's about it. And as I previously mentioned at the start of this video, I have a surprise for you guys, and that surprise lies in the Pokeball. Pikachu! Aww. And yes, 
That is a Lego brick built Pikachu. Now let me get it out of it. Close this up and move it to the side. And here's a close up look of the Lego brick built Pikachu. And yeah, so I built this Pikachu because, well, I thought it was a good inclusion to add on to the Lego brick build Pokeball that I just built. And surely at some point I'm going to be doing some kind of form of content for this Lego Pikachu. But for now, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All support is always welcome. Comment down below what you liked the most about this video. And other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.